We have absolutely amazing news and games being released and I'll tell you everything you need to know about them right now. Are you curious? So stay tuned because a new band in Amconal starts now! The first game is the one with the most beloved little monsters on Earth. Digimon World Next Order arrives with more than 200 Digimons for you to recruit, train and interact with. The graphics are even better and the game also brings some adjustments in the balance. This time the story has a kind of nostalgic vibe. We get sucked into the digital world and find out that the Machine Dramons are in charge. We are rescued by two Digimons and our mission is to train them, train them again and then train them some more so we can defeat the enemies and find our way back home. I had the opportunity to try out Digimon World Next Order back in Japan and I can tell you guys, you can't miss it! By the way, whilst I was there, I had the chance to talk to the producer of the game, Kazu Masahabu, as well as the director, Sho Hirota, and they told me all about their work while producing and directing games. え、そういうところをまず、え、考えるのがプロデューサーの仕事だと思ってます。その上で、ま、ちょっと下世話な話になってしまいますけども、ま、いくらお金がかけられるのかだったりだとか、え、そのお客さんがどれぐらいの人数
Road to Boruto comes as an expansion of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 and will also be sold in a physical edition. The game brings us the story of the new generation of ninjas with additional playable characters including Boruto, Sarada, Hokage Naruto and Sasuke, as well as the new Hidden Leaf Village scenario. Naruto fans, get ready! The physical edition of Road to Boruto includes all the DLC contents from Storm 4 and the pre-order and release bonuses as well. You know what to do, right? Hurry up! And this is it for today, guys! Don't forget to leave your comment here and I'll see you on the next Bandai Namco now! Bye-bye!